ISRO is at the center of international attention and acclamation after the launching of Chandrayaan-2, India's second moon mission with the plan to land the rover on September 7th on the moon's unexplored South Pole. It is being seen as a giant leap in India's ambitious low-cost space program and is the most complex and prestigious mission ever undertaken by the ISRO. As such, India's accomplishment is keeping in line with the astronomical achievements that India has been associated with in the past. Since the ancient times, Indian subcontinent has been extremely progressive when it comes to astronomical discoveries. Vedanga Jyotish is one of the earliest known Indian texts on astronomy, authored by Lagar. The text is foundational to the Vedanga discipline of Jyotish. Jyotish, focusing on timekeeping, is one of the six auxiliary disciplines of Hinduism, collectively forming the Vedanga. The text describes the rules for tracking the motions of the sun and the moon. There are many debates as to the time of its origin, with some scholars supposing the date of the text as 1370 and 1150 BCE, and others claiming it to be 1400 to 1200 BCE. Several others are proposing the date as 700 to 600 BC. Irrespective of any scenario, it is clear that the text was advanced way beyond its years. Vedanga Jyotish portrays the sophisticated horoscopic astrology and advanced astronomical knowledge possessed by the Indians during the early age. Aryabhat was one of the first major mathematician astronomers during the years of 476 to 550 CE. Arguably the greatest Indian mathematician of all time, his works include the Aryabhatiya and the Arya Siddhanta. His system of astronomy is called the Audayaka system, in which he stated that the day begins at dawn at equator. Contrary to the prevailing mindset, Aryabhat calculated that it's not the sky which rotates, but it is the earth which rotates about its axis daily. He believed the planet's orbits to be elliptical rather than circular and impressively calculated the Earth's sidereal rotation as 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds. The modern value of rotation is at 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds. He also gave correct positions and speeds of the planets in the sky in terms of the mean speed of the Sun which was viewed by some scientists as an underlying heliocentric model as opposed to the geocentric model which was widely accepted during those times. Solar and lunar eclipses were scientifically explained by Aryabhat by stating that the moon and the planets shine by the reflected sunlight. Aryabhat's work was not only an influence on the Indian astronomical studies but was also widely used by the Islamic and the Western cultures. Brahmagupta who came a few years after Aryabhat, between the years of 598 to 668 CE, is best known for his methods of calculating the position of heavenly bodies over time. He wrote an astronomical treatise titled Khandakhadyaka. He was the first to rebut that the moon was further from the earth than the sun and explained that actually moon is closer to the earth than the sun. His work further explores the longitudes of the planets, their rotation, lunar and sonar eclipses, risings and settings, the moon's crescent and the conjunctions of the planets. Varamihira, an astronomer in the early 6th century CE, is best known for his most notable work which is Brihat Samhita, an encyclopedia containing information on various topics including planetary motions, eclipses, timekeeping, astrology and seasons. His main astronomical work, the Panka Siddhantika, summarizes five earlier Indian astronomical treatises which are now lost. His works and theories are some of the earliest to have survived. Bhaskar Van was a 7th century mathematician astronomer whose commentary, the Arya Bhatiya Bhashya, is among the oldest known prose works in Sanskrit on the subject. His two works on astronomy, the Mahabhashkarya and the Lagu Bhashkarya, are on the lines of Aryabhat's work. His most noted work has been the introduction of numbers in the Hindu decimal system with a circle for zero. Prior to him, the astronomers had used words instead of symbols for numbers. 
Lalla was a mathematician, astronomer and astrologer from the 8th century. His most famous work was titled Shishya De Vidya Tantra which draws into the earlier teachings of astronomers such as Aryabhat, Bhaskar and Brahmagupta with significant innovations. He combined the teachings of the two and delved into the computation for the position of the planets, the syzygies and the eclipses and gave the earliest known description of perpetual motion. After the era of the 8th century astronomers came another great mathematician by the name of Sripati in the 11th century. Out of his works, three contain astronomical verses which are the Koti Dakarna, Dhruv Mansa and the Siddhanta Shekhar. These contain verses on calculating planetary longitudes, eclipses and planetary transits, solar and lunar eclipses and other astronomical calculations. He also wrote extensively on astrology and his work Jataka Padati contributed immensely to the computation of the strengths of the planets and astrological places which is still being used by astrologers long after his time. Another great mathematician astrologer, Bhaskar II, came into the picture in the 12th century. Out of all his celebrated works, the Ganit Adhyay deals with mathematical astronomy which is based on the earlier works by Aryabhat. Likewise, Bhaskar viewed the solar system as being heliocentric and that the planets have an elliptical orbit. Bhaskar also used the law of gravity that was proposed by Brahmagupta. In his book, he further examined the longitudes and the latitudes and the conjunction of the planets as well as the orbits of the sun and the moon. Without having access to any sophisticated equipment, Bhaskar calculated that it would take 365.258 days for the earth to orbit the sun. Today's calculation is at 365.259 days, making his prediction nearly accurate. These were the ancient and the medieval era astronomers who contributed much to the later scientists in the modern era in India and all over the globe. In light of such tremendous accomplishment by the ISRO, it is pertinent that these great personalities are remembered and paid homage to.